Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be covering a little bit more about uh, collisions with our tile set, which is something I forgot to go over in my last video. So this video is technically 2.5 of our tutorial series. Um, so, by the way, the, the tile set that I created in my last video now can be found by searching Hopeful Ewok um, on here, which is my name uh, in general. And this is Adventure Back, and this is just Ewok. Uh, this is what all of my icons will look like, uh, either this pattern or this pattern. Uh, so you can click on this, which is my adventure pack, is what it's technically called, and you can download it. Okay, As this is what it currently looks like. I'll explain to you what all of these blocks are for in a moment. Uh, this block is way down here because, and th these two are the same blocks, but this is so far away. Um, in fact, let's just freaking remove that frame, jerk. Uh, for some reason it wasn't loading down here, so I have to move it up here. No matter. Uh, so yeah, that's our tile set. Awesome. Save that, and exit out of that. Okay, so now if we go over here, you see that Adventure Pack is now downloaded. Um, so we can get rid of this pesky forest pack. Uh, so when you download the Adventure Pack, you'll see, if we open it up, that uh, there's a few blocks here with odd shapes. Um, now, it comes, as you can see here, um, actually, I don't think it comes with these. These are preloaded on my game. Although, it might come with it. Who knows? But I don't think so. Uh, it come, mine has these collision boxes, which I think I created, uh, uh, that are different from the normal ones, and they have a name. This is platform, and this is barrel. Uh, in fact, these shouldn't even be, I mean... There shouldn't be on there. See, as you can see, this has the barrel on it, and this is has the platform on it. So, if we test our game, which I think I should have something in here hooked up, uh, hopefully. Okay, um, and I can't see anything because my tile set has been deleted. Okay, anyways, if we go into scenes, let me open up scene one. Cool, as you can see here, all of my crap has been deleted. So, can we? These these are the important questions. Left. Let's get rid of all of these extra layers because no one loves those. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Okay, cool. Uh, so if we create this and we add a couple of these babies, add a couple of these. I am gonna change this pack eventually. So, if you're wondering, um, oopsies. So if we do this, um, maybe we can add some water, which is a feature, actually. Freaking fancy balls. Oops. Okay, so if we do that, uh, add a couple more. Um, we can put in this platform, which is basically this can be used for many things. It could be used for a bridge, it could be used for a jumping thing. Um, so, this currently, I believe, has no proper collision box because we haven't made one for it yet. Yeah, so it's just clear. But there is this actual platform that's called platform, technically. A little bit lower, doesn't matter. Uh, right there so this shouldn't have a collision boxes post just because collision boxes you know you, you want to be able to walk through it um, so alright that should be good for now yeah my OCD okay here we go so let's save that and test the scene so ho ho um, as you can see I did speed up the character oh yeah I gave I accidentally gave this the barrel collision so um, but as you can see, we're walking down here, and all this space is clear, but uh, we're fine. We don't care. And then if we fall, we reload. Okay, so if we go over to our adventure pack, as you can see, if I click on this, it has the thing of a barrel. It should have no collision. Um, so, all right, let's create a collision box for um, our post here. So we're going to create a new one, uh, and we're going to create a box. So... Uh, by to create one, click the plus button right here, and then click create box. Uh, we're gonna name it. Um, I think I already have one named platform, so bridge. All right. Uh, and the X right here. If we turn it up, it will move to the side. If we turn it down, well, if we turn it up, it'll go right. If we turn it down, it'll go left. Uh, y is the height, so if we turn it up, it'll go down, and if we turn it down, it'll go up. Kind of confusing, but okay. And then the width is um, this size of the block. So 
I think the width is 100. So yeah, 100 all the way across. So we're going to change the Y and we're going to move it down a little bit. Uh, but this one is actually in the middle. So it doesn't have to be uh, perfect, but uh, the closer the better. So let's turn this down and maybe that's it. Cool. We're going to have to move this down a little bit. Because it's kind of like that, kind of off center. Um, up. Uh, all right, there we go. So that looks good. If we save bridge and we make sure that the bridge is checked. So that's one for that. And for this one, we have no collisions. Um, so to make one that looks like this off shape, um, what we're going to need to do is first of all have a block chosen. Um, but I am just going to create a new one for our barrel here, uh, even though I already have one there for it. Um, what we're going to want to do is click plus and click create polygon. Um, now with this polygon it allows us to move these freely and uh, allows us to add more of these as many as we want. So uh, the only problem is, let's see, it doesn't allow concave shapes. It says that down here but you can barely see it unless I make the screen bigger which I don't think I can. Um, so it has to be out. So if you can't save it for some reason, make sure all your shapes aren't like this, they're like this. Um, so to make one of these, I typically just throw, for the barrel at least, it doesn't have to be exact, um, unless you really want it to be, that will take a long time. Uh, so just like that, kind of along the edge here, create another polygon. Smack that right there, smack it. Alright, that sounds weird. Put it over here. Uh, so it looks like that will be right there. That will be right there, and then this one will be all the way down here. So that is roughly a ter very terrible, very terrible uh, demonstration of a polygon, but I did that quickly. So you can spend as much time as you want uh, on this, and we're going to name this barrel. No, we're not even going to name it because <laughs> I already have one. So you name it and then click OK. Make sure you don't have any concave shapes. So say if one was like this up oh, nope not gonna be allowed so I can't save it but if it's like this we're cool understood cool uh, but I already have a barrel in here so that's how you create uh, different ones alright platform and we got a bridge so if we go on a scene and we click test scene um, that's how this one was created because it's all the way on the bottom and it's very small uh, if we go in and we replace all of these with these click test scene which is our bridge block uh, as you can see BAM we are awesome so we are on the surface or at least it appears that we're on the surface we might be a little deeper or a little higher but for the most part we got it and then these have no collision boxes so we can walk freely uh, if you wanted to make this look really uh, better you could possibly put uh, these posts on a new layer um, how you would do that is by closing this Selecting this and clicking. Oops! Come on, give me the option, buddy. You wanna, you wanna do it? You wanna do it? Come on. Okay, we can just click backspace. Apparently, doesn't want to give me the option to click the actual delete button. So let's click the plus button right here and go to these posts and do that. Now, uh, just make sure that it's on the layer above or a layer above um, your player. So if we go to inventory, we'll see on here in uh, layer 0, it has our actor type, which is stick. And layer 1, um, oh, yeah, so it says layer 0 right here, so layer 0. Um, it should, I guess it says all of them, but it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that this is on layer 0 and these are on layer 1. All right, cool. Or another layer above it. So if we click test scene, dun dun dun. Uh, now we should be walking behind them. So that's just a little cool thing. You can use that in a lot of different ways. Um, anyways, thanks for watching this part two of my last tutorial. Um, something I forgot. Anyways, hey kids, how's it going outside interrupting my video? Um, if you enjoyed this video, bleh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Make sure to check out the rest of my stencil series. Um, ooh, double jump. Um, and uh, I'll be having more tutorials soon. See you guys later.